Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Network and Security Distributed Switches, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So here we are in vCenter server on this particular host. I've got a standard switch and an existing distributed switch, VDS switch 0, but we're going to create a new one. So this is a new distributed switch created at the data center level, which will be um, available to every cluster underneath that data center. So we'll call it VD switch one. We're going to leave it at version seven and we'll leave these at the defaults, but we're not going to create any port groups yet as by default. We're going to do these manually. So uh, Shortly, we'll see that VD switch one appear there. So that's the second distributed switch I have in this environment. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create some port groups. So we're gonna create four distributed port groups for running four different VLANs. And just to make things simple, we're gonna use the VLAN ID in the name or the description. So it's obvious what VLAN each port group relates to. So I've named it the VDS switch one VLAN and then the number of the VLAN, just to make it easy so you can tell just from looking at the name of the port group um, which VLAN uh, it belongs to and which virtual switch it belongs to. If I just expand that out on virtual distributed switch one, we've now got that um, additional uh, port group that, that works on VLAN 2200, uh, 2100. The new one we're gonna do is for VLAN 2200. So that's the second port group we've created on this first um, or on a distributed switch one. So we're going to create another one on distributed switch one on VLAN 2300. And then finally, we'll just do one more. So we now have four new VLANs on distributed switch one. And so this, uh, these are the port groups that we see on the left-hand side of the switch that we can connect to virtual machines or services. We're now going to look at doing uplinks, which is how we connect physical NICs in each ESXi host to this um, but distributed switch. So we've got four hosts, and each host has got one network card free. You may want to pause this video um, if, if, you, if this goes a little bit too fast for you, but I'm going to add these four hosts. And you'll see when we add them that each host has one um, NIC unassigned. So in this case, it's VM NIC2. So I'm going to sign that and I'll just auto assign it to the switch. And then I'm going to fold that up out the way and look at the second one. So on the second one, I've got another NIC which is not assigned. There's nothing by that NIC on the right hand side. So I'm going to auto assign that to this switch and fold it up out of the way. And same again on this one, VM NIC4 isn't currently assigned to an existing switch, so I'll assign this to the new one. And then the same again for the last one. So what I've done here is I've assigned at least one NIC um, to uh, the distributed switch one as part of the port group. So now each host has got at least one NIC connected to this distributed switch. Obviously in a production environment you'd want at least two. In my home lab I've just connected one just to prove that it works. I can migrate virtual networking. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to leave things on the same switch that they are now. But if you move in from standard to distributed, it is possible to migrate the networking as well. So now when I look at the topology for that, I can see I've got all these uplinks connected to virtual distributed switch one. And I've got um, port groups there, which what we could do now is attach virtual machines to. So if I wanted to, I could go to one of these virtual machines here in cluster two. I could go to the network settings and I could now attach it to a different port group, which in real world would correspond to a different VLAN. So I'm going to pick um, one of those there. I'll go for 2400. So that virtual machine is now using um, VLAN 2400 on distributed switch one. When we look at topology, we can see there it is. That virtual machine we added is now on that port group. We 
we can also see there in the view there if we switch to the new view sometimes it's a little bit clearer so again we can see related objects down there we can see the network it belongs to I'll put that view back to its original view the one you may be more familiar with and that was how to add a distributed switch um, a part of the vSphere 7 home lab series so thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful